welcome to the CFG Gamecast episode number 127, a weekly podcast created by gamers and streamers alike to discuss the latest gaming topics from the previous week. We stream a new episode on Fridays and release it on podcast services like Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, Podbean, and so much more. So show us some love. Give us a follow, a like, a comment, what have you on any podcast services out there, or go to our main website, confreaksandgeeks.com to not miss an episode i am mr cfg games himself davis green and with me today are my two awesome co-hosts i got lex in the second seat what is going on my cyborg oh you know uh i played a lot oh i beat inscription this week hey but when you beat it you get what's called casey's mod which is really cool Mm. there's no ending there's no like you get an extra whatever for it um basically you go in and you do different different run-throughs in Leshy's cabin, which is the first area. Um, and diff- like you go in with like one less item in your backpack or you don't get a re-roll of your cards, that kind of thing. So that mm-hmm. was really interesting. Uh, played the new killer against the new killer on DVD and she is one spooky ooky lady. It's a, new killer. it's a ring, right? The chick from the ring? Yes, yeah. it is her. I will not say her name because I say it wrong every time. Um, I panic and it, it, nope. So yeah, her. <laughs> but it it's the original. So I believe it's the Jap the J- Japan came out with the original yes. concept yeah. for that, right? It's her, not the American BS one. Yeah, well, was, it, they were virtually the same. They were virtually the same. Yeah, I've seen the the Japanese version. It's scarier. Um, I enjoyed both of them. Yeah, I didn't have a yeah. yeah. You know what was that, actually cool about the ring? It messed me up in high school, though. Oh, yeah. Sure. What was cool about the ring, the Japanese ring and the American ring was that they used the same house. Did you know right. that? Right. Like, so, like, they used the same Japanese house. So I was just like, oh, okay, cool. So, but, I mean. No, Continuity. But, but, but I think I think I would agree with Lex. It is a slightly more freakier in, the, well, in Japanese. Term. And I also think the music score is better for the Japanese version, whereas like, I feel like American horror has kind of gotten lazy, and they like to give you a heads up when the music changes, like something spooky's gonna yeah. happen, get ready. Mm-hmm. And I, sometimes I hate that, because uh, well, I you, think that, uh, you ruined it for me. Does that make I think sense? American, yeah. yeah, I think American horror kind of died though, in my opinion. It's nowhere near what it once was. Nowhere yeah, near I was whatsoever. never a fan of like huge slashers like my favorite slasher was ghostface because at least it, it, it made more sense logistic wise like it, this mm. could happen and people are crappy and blah 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 but yeah um i played that and then um i guess we'll announce it here since i haven't said it anywhere else mm-hmm. <laughs> um i don't know if you guys can see that I can't. oh wait I you can't. should be able to now oh now i can um yeah so that's not one but uh two babies uh adam and i are pregnant so yay well i mean he did it it's his fault (laughs) i didn't want children but (laughs) yay uh Mm -hmm. so that'll be interesting um i'm kidding april fools i am not pregnant (laughs) i don't even think i can (laughs) you know what's actually kind of funny it's like i just realized this is going to be in podcast form so most people won't see what you did okay so for our listeners i showed a sonogram of 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 two twin babies in like itty bitty fetus form like like little lima beans um unfriend unfriend Unfriend. (laughs) That's why these are out. No, uh, no. Uh, yeah, no. I, I we're not having a baby, but y- you're welcome. April Fools. Uh, I didn't get to get my dad this year, so I'm mad. Usually, I saran wrap his toilet seat um, because he's a sitter. Which, hey, more power to him. And um, he doesn't see the saran wrap, and then he pees, and it gets everywhere, wow. and it's you're fun. a problem child. I was like, you need to get your butt over here right now and clean this floor. <laughs> Oh, this is your doing. Use a or Use a, a good toothbrush. one too is you put like those little poppers that you throw on the ground that you would get from the ice cream man. You take mm. them and you put them underneath the little dots, right? And like you just carefully set them under the mm. toilet seat. So then when the next person sits down, pop, 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 scares the shit out of them. <laughs> it's hysterical. Wow. You're welcome. These, these toilet centric tips are totally horrible. But hey, Lex, do you know who is not the father? No. <laughs> it's Maury. No. 
the five-star general of the itty bitty smitty committee i got smitty on the third seat what's going on my dude (laughs) Chill man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, I've been I, I've been good. Uh, getting getting down on scum, getting down on destiny. I haven't really uh, had a chance to do too 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 much. I was sick this past week, so <clears throat> excuse me. I'm still kind of recovering. Excuse me from that as well. I actually, uh, last week I took a nap after the podcast and I woke up feeling like hell. So, uh, I am feeling much better this week. So I'm looking forward just to chilling out a little bit, maybe hopefully getting outside. And I, cause that's what I was hoping it deals like all super nice last week and I missed out on that. So try to maybe get out and do a hike or something and, and, uh, you know, just be a, be a person. It, it's been, uh, it's been a pretty chill week. Things are about to get busy. You, like you said, we've got um, uh, uh, PAX East here in a few weeks that we'll be going to. Um, I've got some other things that I'm working on as well, uh, kind of behind the scenes that I can't really uh, say much about right now. But, you know, mm-hmm. we're we working on some stuff, y'all. So, yeah, <laughs> it's good staying busy and whatnot, man. How about yourself, oh. brother? How was, uh, oh. Real quick, do not mm. hike near my area. The Why? mountain that they're blowing up by my house, the rattlesnakes, the scorpions, uh, the tarantulas, uh, and it is coyote infestation by my uh, areas. Go wait, further, farther north, okay? Just, just let's just, back that up yeah. and say why is it? Why are they blowing it up? They're blowing up the side of this little, little. It's a little mountain uh, to uh, widen the road. Oh, okay, cool. Well, at least there's no mountain lines. That road is no, pretty... there are. Pretty. There are mountain lions. There are absolutely mountain lions. <laughs> they went, a lot of them fled over the ridge uh, because there's a lot of wild horses that got released, and they're munching on them, unfortunately. But Oof. yeah, no, uh, I can't tell you how many times I've come home late at night and there's a coyote just walking around in my neighborhood. Like, hey, I believe up? it. You're like right I by hate. the mountain. I used to live over like right by where where Lex lives. I used, I used to, to party on that mountain. Man? I used yeah. to party so on that mountain. In, I used to live in Arizona too, and then the the, the coyotes usually came down the hill. That's where, mm-hmm. where I was at too. And then it's just uh, there. I mean, coyotes are not that big, uh, but like, uh, but they're I just mean, mountain lions, just, though, dude. Oh, they're the scorpions, dude. We lived in a house that we called yeah, Scorpion House. You can't see Ooh. them. It sucks, dude. Mm-hmm. Well, the thing is, is coyotes are uh, taller than Opie, but about her size. She's got like a good 10, 15 pounds on one because they're real skinny. So they only weigh about 18 pounds. Mm-hmm. But it would it would try to take Opie on. Uh, I think Opie would win that fight, but I don't. Usually not I don't that aggressive. They, yeah. Well, they're usually not that aggressive. They're usually like, I mean, they're usually the ones that are afraid of you. Or, yeah. Uh, and also, also, if but anything, if you're walking but... by yourself at night. They will stalk you until their buddy comes back, who was also hunting because they hunt in a pack, but they split up. Uh, and they'll they'll try to they'll try to get you. It happened to my friend Ashley not too long ago. Coyote was chasing her, so I'm gonna stalk yeah. a coyote. <laughs> well, How feels about that? That's what Smith's gonna do. Smith's gonna be like, doing a, <laughs> like I'm watching gonna you. Be like, like a, I'm watching you. Gonna do a roll. <laughs> yes. Smith's gonna be like like Schwarzenegger and Predator, just slowly putting mud on his face, like <laughs> like that, you know. <laughs> Just getting ready, just getting in the thick of things. But uh, yeah, as for me, man, I've been busy. Um, I just came back from Houston. I wanted to give a shout out to Zucara the Tarl Tall for filling in for me left from last week. It was a, yes. a really cool episode. He had some really cool, uh, a really cool topic. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, but I've been uh, just uh, be really busy with some other uh, other pieces. I haven't touched a game since last week. Uh, I was going to do some one today, but then I decided I needed to take care of some other stuff. And uh, stuff in the background because once again, as well as with Smitty, have some stuff in the works. Can't talk about it yet, but we're going, <laughs> but definitely going hard on the paint Me on it. Me too. Yeah. So then we're definitely, and then to, uh, but uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully, <laughs> I'm going to uh, play something. Uh, like I should stream something, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see sometime in, uh, in the mix of things. So, but uh, yeah, it's been pretty hard. It's been pretty hectic. But uh, but it's it's all worth it. So just to see what uh, what everyone's thinking and and stuff. So it's all good. But uh, 
I know everyone doesn't want to hear my excuses on why I haven't been playing a game. So let's get go. Let's get going with all the, the rig and roll that we normally like to do each and every week. So uh, each of us chooses a topic or discussion within the video games from the previous week. The topic would or could be about a specific game or something that happened in the gaming industry itself. And we don't want to talk about it amongst ourselves. We want you, the people on Twitch.tv, to be a part of the conversation. So if there's something that you'd like to chime in about, by all means, type it inside the chat. We would love to discuss it with you as always. So uh, I know I didn't say the order, but um, but uh, 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 but I'm going to go first because <laughs> that's that's what because uh, that's I think I have a really good topic this time. This my time topic. Around. You mean you stole a topic? Me, <laughs> you mean the topic me. that that's my topic last did. week, guys. Remember, and we, and don't ever forget I did it first. And we did a pre-stream <laughs> vote, and Davis lost, but he's still going to do it anyway. So. He's a you dictator, I have to say y'all. This. <laughs> I, I have to say this first of all. I love. That's that's what he's the most humblest person that I know right now. <laughs> all right, I really love Shut that. I really bring in the the love of all that with Twitty right now. I I my that deal. Yes, so there we go. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna circle back uh, from a uh, topic from last week because that Smitty <clears throat> that Smitty was talking about last week because uh, as you know there was uh, Smitty did say something about uh, like the PlayStation Network was going to be re- re- changing up their uh, uh, their their network uh, uh, their network plan. Um, but they didn't know. We didn't know at the time what it entailed, what it's uh, what it's going to do, pricing and all that stuff. Well, earlier this week, they they uh, found that we found out more on the PlayStation blog, which is actually really annoying. I don't know why, but I am not a fan of the blog <laughs> I mean, like, uh, because like they have really important information and then they put it on a blog. Like that is the, like the worst place it's... to, to, uh, to do it. Who's checking that? Do people sense. still yeah. blog anymore? Jesus. Oh, well, they do it. blog, but it's like, but it's not like, it, it's not like everyone is checking on this unless, unless, right. they, unless it's shared and it's like, oh, okay, whatever. But anyways, I don't know. I digress. <laughs> but basically, Okay, so PlayStation Plus is uh, merging their PlayStation Now together, and they're going to, and then they're changing the uh, PlayStation's uh, Plus to a three-tiered uh, uh, flexible option. So, what does that mean for the consumers or us? Uh, well, first off, uh, PlayStation was uh, this is like uh, they're saying that they're not wanting to compete, but they're competing with with uh, with uh, Microsoft with Xbox uh, Game Pass. This is a clear competition move for them to go against uh, xbox game pass uh but uh so what they did is that playstation plus is still going to be the same price than what it is uh what it was before which was 60 dollars for the year um or if you don't have 60 dollars, it's 9.99 monthly or 24.99 quarterly which is every three months uh so uh uh so that what playstation is going to be called instead of just playstation plus it's going to be called the playstation essential what that will do that it's going to provide the same benefits as the playstation plus members as we're getting currently right now we're getting like the two monthly downloadable games exclusive discounts cloud storage uh and online multiplayer access so basically the network fees and stuff uh so there's nothing uh, nothing that's going to change now the next tier is where where it's going to change a little bit more. So there's going to be the PlayStation Plus Extra, uh, which will provide the same thing as what the original PlayStation Plus will have. But then they're also adding a catalog of the 400 uh, 400 of the most uh, quote unquote. This is their quote: 400 of the most enjoyable PS4 slash PS5 games, including blockbuster hits from uh, from uh, PlayStation Studios catalog and third party partners. Uh, so uh that's the only other adding uh is the uh, library the 400 uh game library and that's going to cost a hundred dollars 99.99 so that is uh that roughly uh is about what, about 9.99 well if you do the year plan it's about nine uh about 9.99 or about really more like 8.99 yeah 8.99 a month uh for the uh, if you do the if you pay for the year but then if you do monthly it's 14.99 or 39.99 quarterly <clears throat> excuse me uh but then the big one is this it's the playstation plus premium which what this will do is that it will do the same thing as the other two previous tiers but then they'll also allow you to play it is the uh, the tier also will add 340 uh, games that are including the ps3 catalog that's available in the cloud uh, cloud streaming services that you will allow you to play on the ps4 and ps5 
and it will uh, allow you to play PS2 and PSP, which is which I'm actually surprised about is adding their PSP libraries uh, towards all of this. So uh, this is a uh, and also gives you time limited game trials uh, to, uh, for for this tier as well. This one's one hundred and twenty dollars yearly, uh, seventeen ninety nine monthly or forty nine ninety nine uh, quarterly. Uh, so this one, the the issue I have with this one is that they're very vague on like what is this going to entail, like like how is this going to be be like uh, uh, cycled uh, cycled through? Because uh, I've got, that's why I kind of I think we need a little more information exactly like what they mean when they say PSP generation. Like is it like oh like because uh, they are not really showing how big because uh, PSP has a very illustrious library they really do, uh, and as well as PS2 but like how all that's going to work. So uh, they didn't give a date on when all this is going to happen, but I know it's going to be fairly close uh, w- uh, when uh, like wh- where we're at right now. But the big thing is, is like, is it, are they, are they going to be a little, are they late? Like, is this, is it too late for them to kind of be competing with the, with Mike, with the, uh, with the, uh, with Xbox game pass? Uh, Cause theoretically right now, price wise, they're virtually the same um, almost. Uh, the only difference is that the 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 high t- the highest tier is a little bit more expensive than what the ultimate tier is for for Game Pass, but overall the other two is more the other two tiers are fairly reasonable to what Game Pass is currently at. So, uh, and you know that like uh, with with Microsoft, with the PlayStation strength in their game their games uh, library, this act this could be a good thing, but we don't know how they're going to be you know shooting out these games uh, uh, throughout the throughout the year. They're going to give us some POSs or they're just going to be like, you know, straight up. So I kind of want to know what y'all, what your thoughts of what uh, this, this upcoming PlayStation plus change is going to be like. Go ahead. Uh, okay. I, so Smitty and I talked about it earlier this week. Uh, Cause I was watching little Smitty. So I came over and we were chit chatting beforehand uh, and he was telling me how I would be able to uh, play this library on my PC. Mm-hmm. Um, that makes me really happy. I wonder how they're going to do that with exclusives. I, I mean, I assume if I pay $120 a year, the second uh, <clears throat> a new Spider-Man comes out or another AAA comes out, that I get to play it on PC and he's shaking his head no, and that makes me sad. Yeah, so, I think it's, yeah, I agree. You won't even be able to do it with PlayStation. What do you mean? They're not going to cut into their own profits. That is that is one of the big differentiators between this and Game Pass, whereas Game Pass is day one drops um, from what they're, they're publishing. I don't think PlayStation does that. I don't. They don't okay. to. And they don't, I, I don't, exactly, they don't need to. Yeah, right. I don't think they will. I don't think they will definitely need to do. Yeah, they de- they're not in a position where they have to do something that drastic because mm-hmm. you know the AAA. T- uh, the, we know PlayStation AAA tiles are going to sell. This right. Right. Regar- re- regardless well, on their own. Right, and I am aware of that. But if I'm paying for a service, mm-hmm. I would like to be able to play it on my PC day one. But you're saying mm-hmm. that's they they've said that that is not going to happen. So what yeah. do we know what the wait time is? So if I pay the one twenty a month. What's the wait time from the AAA being released? Whatever it is, you know. That, 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 they, didn't that, say, they didn't say anything about that, unfortunately, not yet. Someone's here. Okay, yeah, that that's a little frustrating, but they made it clear that it's not going to be day one. Yeah, it's definitely not. Good. Well, okay, uh, I will say this: it's possible. It's possible that third parties, but like PlayStation owned IPs, are not def- are definitely not going to be day one. Right. Like, I don't think I don't think it's going to be because because like because like I said like Game pa- uh, the reason why uh, I think the reason why Xbox Game Pass works for so well because of that is because there's no limit on that but nine times out of ten these day one releases aren't made by Microsoft so like uh, like well, and uh, also we have to remember that Microsoft owns Microsoft and Xbox so of course they're gonna give us day one if we're playing paying for the Microsoft game pass because they're not losing profits on that be, because either way they're being purchased for you know what I mean no um, no they're definitely no I think it's not because of where they are I think it was because of it was because that system had no had like when when Xbox when the new series X and series s and all that stuff was coming in right they, they there was no there's no game that featured it 
um, the only game that did really was Halo, and mm-hmm. uh, that was uh, that was big. So prior to that, when you're, I mean, and we're, I think we're we're hitting year number two on the systems now. So mm-hmm. like, uh, yeah, so they had to do something. They're in a, they were in a position where they had to do something drastic to keep up demand for it not necessarily for the system but more like for how you play the game uh play the game uh as a uh, as a uh, as with microsoft itself so I, that's I, why yeah, i see what you're yeah. putting down okay that yeah. was my only question about it now i'm a little sad yeah, yeah. monkey blood says they need to offer more to, uh to be coming in this late for example you could play mlb 22 day one on game pass PS folks got to pay for it. Exactly. Because they were already behind. Their biggest issue is, is a lack of games. So yeah. now they are they are going in the right direction. And they've built... I mean, if you look at it, they're all built off of different models. Um, uh, Xbox, uh, PlayStation, and uh, Nintendo. You know, they all do... You know, they're all working within a thing. But their strategies are all very different. And they all kind of play to what their strengths are. Uh, are and what they you know what they're trying to be i think you know microsoft is ahead as far as cloud gaming getting people yeah. in that uh architect or or, or in their uh, um just in there yeah exactly playstation's already got that they don't need to offer this stuff why am i going to undercut myself you know what i'm saying um the big things for me in terms of this and this is kind of how i looked at it number one i think that the pc streaming is huge because now you're saying pc players can opt in and get these and and they may be later they may not be day one but now you've opened up uh, a, a plethora of games to this pc market i think you're going to see a lot of buy-in uh for this on the pc side of things that was huge for me in their streaming what that looks like we still don't know and i know out the gate it's not going to be available in japan that's going to come in an uh update later on uh the big thing for me though looking at this and looking at these prices was that okay it's 120 and and this really a lot of this depends kind of has to deal with timing too because i'm not really expecting the day ones i would love it if they had day ones uh coming out i think that'd be freaking amazing but the way i look at it is that uh and i guess it depends on unless i have to get a game it's like i'm gonna spend 70 dollars on a brand new game anyway so within two games two games that out the gate and this is just obviously uh hypothetical because the the service isn't available yet but let's say it was already ex- in existence and we we knew that it was going to be that, uh, let's say, Returnal and, and whatever was going to be on this. I would have saved myself $20 just going with the with the yearly plan um, as opposed to getting the games individually. So, you know, there can and, and again, a lot of that is going to depend on what their timings of releases are. If it's going to be worth it for me, who's already in the play the playstation ecosystem i don't necessarily need to stream i have got remote play on my you know for my pc so i can still play playstation games uh on my pc so i don't necessarily need it i think the biggest thing is just having they've opened themselves up even more to this pc market and i think that's where you'll see some more of this buying of course that's going to be a top tier uh get for that well a comment on the being able to remote play uh, on PS5, it now has a big thing across right. the screen saying PlayStation Remote Play, which is a bunch of BS. Annoying. It's annoying, but it's not you worth $120. It. Right. <laughs> I'm kind of, uh, I, like, I don't know. I, I've never messed with PlayStation Now. Um, but, like, I Same. know that some of the issues with PlayStation Now was a little bit of, like, lag and stuff. So, like, that, that's one of the biggest issues that, that like, like, if they're going to provide this service that, like, I have to know if it's going to be like is there going to be stuff that's going to be intrusive because theoretically the idea is appealing to me to say that you could play your playstation 3 playstation 3 playstation 4 playstation 5 like games uh but playstation 3 is going to be library it's going to be uh cloud cloud uh, cloud gaming and that kind of makes me a little hesitant because of what i've heard or psp i'm sorry playstation 3 and psp library is going to be cloud-based so i don't know if that's something that'll be like oh wow okay i'm all in on this because i like the idea of being able to play like i don't know rogue galaxy or something like that from the ps3 and then like to stream it without worrying about you know doing the 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 jankiness to get a ps3 to work uh uh to work to stream uh to stream on twitch and stuff but like uh 
yeah, so I, I like the the premium is not appealing to me whatsoever uh, uh, for me, anyways. And then plus, uh, I think that, uh, but I think the uh, what the tier prior to that because that's the tier I would probably lean towards more. More, it's like. Uh, you, uh, is that you're gonna have free like the free library of 400, 400 and 400 plus games on the PlayStation PS4, PS5 right. or whatever, and then uh, and then be able to be like, okay, you have the good library from the previous just the previous generation, uh, uh, and then you don't have to be like, oh, I wonder if this game is good or not, and just you just pop it in and just and do it, and it's downloaded on right. your system, so you don't even need to worry about like uh, uh about direct delay or any of that nonsense. So I think that is the better deal in my opinion. Uh, uh I think towards that. I think a lot of people are going to be in the same boat as Chrissy. Uh she says this is something I would have someone else get first and see what it's all about. I think a lot of yeah. people are going to be waiting for the reviews. Same. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. I definitely agree. I mean, I mean, I'm no, I mean, I would definitely try well, I got a 3 year uh PlayStation uh PlayStation Plus thing. So like I don't no, like, like, uh, how they're not gonna work. not take your money, Davis. I promise. They're gonna make but, it uh, nice and easy for you. <laughs> yeah, Monkey Blood, uh, yeah, Monkey Blood says that streaming is not ideal. A native install option would be increased, uh, uh, adoptions of this, and then, yeah, that's what it is. But I know that there's gonna be that, that, that having a native version of the game, the system would be a lot better to do it, but at the same time, it's like PS3. If you, if anyone knows the process of of getting a ps3 to work right for for uh uh for for twitch or youtube it's a hassle because it's not specifically like there's certain things like there there are there's a specific you have to get a crossover switch you have to have a crossover switch and then there's certain switches that that it, that, that it plays with certain switches that they don't and most of these switches you can buy on amazon but since these the switch but but most of these switches aren't made like you know consistently like so one of them could be made with the different parts but look the same and it doesn't work <laughs> oh and like it's a nightmare it's like literally a nightmare so sometimes it's like for me to be like you know what i don't want to deal with that i want to see how this works uh with just cloud services like even like when you were playing horizon forbidden west uh last month when you were doing remote play on that like it was the reason why you did it was because of your convenience, the convenience of where your system was at to, right. where, to where you were at. And then like, like, and then you had to, and then you were having troubles of the la uh, with lag and stuff like that. It's like, you know, you, it, yeah. If you, I mean, if you have to, absolutely but I think that's my way, ISP. Like, I think that's my ISP though, dude. Yeah. Well, it is. But I'm hard. Yeah. 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 But it's still, I mean, you're still wireless. I mean, you're still connecting. Uh, is everything, uh, you're still wireless uh, talking to your computer. Your, uh, no, it's all hardline. Your, no, I'm talking about, I'm talking about your computer is talking to your PS5 wirelessly, right? Uh, mm, no, it should be all via router. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. You're right, okay. Yep. Also, uh, Unknown says, uh, also, though, I believe they said two free games a month. Uh, for the base plan, but isn't the isn't that worse? Uh, get your uh, yeah, get now like three to four games. Yeah, it is. But then again, they're in the tr <laughs> they're in a. Uh, I don't know. I I don't know what they're planning on doing because like, I got know right now they're doing two PS five. They're doing two PS five games, and I think they actually reduced it down. It's now two PS five games and one PS four. Uh, or or there was going to be a hybrid. I, I actually let me find out that out right now because like a. Uh, Month of April. Yeah, they do weird things where like there's certain PS4 games. Maybe is it two PS5 games or one PS5 game? Maybe one. Finding out right now. I feel like it's one. Yeah, I think it's and then maybe like two. Yeah, it's PS4 three games. Right yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's it's one PS. Well, wow, this one's a PS5, PS4. So this was basically three PS4 games this month, and then uh, but it's one PS, uh, one PS5, and then two PS4. Mm -hmm. So I think they're gonna they're gonna change that out. Uh, they're gonna change that out. And to say if it's worse, I think that's really subjective because odds are, like, like if you were cool with the with the, with the monthly plan, yeah, that that would be awesome. But then again, your the change is gonna be you're gonna have you're gonna have more of an open library to just openly download a different game. So you don't need to worry about the uh, uh, worry about the free game that you get that's random that you that some nine times out of ten a lot of people don't play them because <laughs> i know i know this month you're not gonna be like yeah i really need to go back to playing nicola uh spongebob square pants battle of bikini bottom because that's the free game this month 
I actually <laughs> might play that with my daughter, so I want to uh, play that. I still I know, like but I'm Bob. just saying I'm saying that like you're not gonna be thinking about this months on end. Like it's like, oh wow, I really should have gotten that. You know what PlayStation kind of should really make? Uh -huh, a little right. Einstein's game. I'd play that. <laughs> little Einstein's is the jam. You wouldn't know, Davis. You don't have kids, so I know what little Einstein is. Oh, okay. Uh, she says don't just, that. Don't She's just lying. assume that. Don't assume I don't know. I know. <laughs> I know what the line side is. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. It's good. You should watch the uh, wish. You should, I was thinking you're going to do something with Wishbone. Shut up. That'd be good. Don't talk about it. <laughs> what, 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 why is that a sour spot to you? I thought you liked that game. I love that game, but even like the modulators, it gets stuck when I get to the second island with the stupid, stupid um, Cyclops. Mm. It gets stuck, so I can't even get past that part. It's, it doesn't um, save it. I'm going to sit story, here for 10 hours. Wishbone. I probably would. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. Wow, I like, One yeah. day I'll have the patience to do it. But yeah, yeah, I've been no. playing Rocket Knight Adventures on an emulator, and I'm having oh so much fun. The keybinds are, are very weird for that, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I think overall, though, I mean, like, I guess, like, exactly. I think the best way to describe it is, like, we got to see where this is going to go. It's like, um, I think that it's, uh, I think there's no room. I mean, to have open, uh, if we have better comp, if you have, if Microsoft Xbox or Microsoft Game Pass has competition in some sort, it will be better for both, for both people, for everyone. So we'll see. Uh, this isn't competition. Well. Yeah, I'm also the <laughs> only not. one that did not bring a snack today. <laughs> I don't know how many games. Like, how big is the library for the uh, for for uh, for Game Pass? I don't even know. I'm not a hundred percent sure to be. Honest. Um, and I mean, it's rotating basis too. Well, this one's going to be rotating basis as well. I mean, you're rotating basis, not nah, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, no. It's not just like whatever's out is just out. Oh, no. what's yeah, going to be gonna rotating? Be, it's going to be rotating. <laughs> I mean, like, really? it has to be like. Yeah, PlayStation 4 does not have only 400 games. They, they only give you access to certain games. It's it's rotating. Uh, and secondly, they said they're partners too. So their partners will clearly are going to also rotate, uh, is going to rotate their games as well. They're not, it's not going to be like a permanent thing. But you get to download it. Yeah, you download the physical game. But I'm assuming uh, the, just like Xbox, you could do the same thing. But then eventually, uh, if it's out of the rotation, you, you won't have access to it. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. That's how Xbox, that's all Game Pass. Well, like well, it's <laughs> different. It's different. Oh, my God. You are like, <laughs> <laughs> you are like, <laughs> incorrigible. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Incorrigible. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. okay. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. I, well, clearly we know where, where Smitty is on this conversation. He's not. <laughs> He's not going to be not Interesting. going to sway from Game Pass that easily. Nice. Okay. Oh no, 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 no! I'm not saying that I won't do both. Oh, no, I won't do them because you have you got the FOMO. Yeah, got the so FOMO. I mean, I'm already opted in, so I can't really think anything off the top of my head where I'm like, oh, I have to have this because this has this game on there. Yeah. Until there's that. I'm I'm good with just having a base, whatever I have right now. I'm just saying with PlayStation 4's library to what Xbox has on their library, even regardless to that, you already know how much stronger the, the library of games PlayStation has over Microsoft is what I'm saying. Ooh, but so didn't like, didn't Xbox them or they're about to announce a family plan? I don't know. I swear I read something about that somewhere. I, I can't remember. You're right. Yeah, I can't remember if it was uh, was announced or it's like a leaked thing or something like that. But yeah, I can I can I'm curious to see what that looks like. I heard that too. Yeah, a family plan. I can't remember. That'd be awesome. Game Pass is reportedly we're getting a family plan. So that's what uh that was a day ago. So there you go. But I heard it today. Yeah, I think I heard it today too. Yeah, who knows what that what, what that means? Uh <laughs> What's going to happen? So, uh, let's see. Family plan option reportedly provided access to Xbox Game Pass for five players, and be priced all right than the cost for separate accounts. So Which is huge. Allow you to bundle. There's going to allow you to bundle more people in. And then I can get my like. I can like give it to my dad. Oh, I mean, you know. so basically, they're just going by 
they're going by quantity <laughs> uh, quantity but it's like but like i said like if the library but if the library is better on one or the other you wouldn't want to cho choose the uh, uh the other library or you're just going to choose you're going to choose game pass because it, they allow you to get first day hits of games that you're going to because the first day hits okay uh, yeah right. that's that's the that's first day hits that's what I'm asking about. Like yep. that's, that's what you're looking for. Okay. That is cool. that to me is the deciding factor. If I were to compare them head to head, uh, for me, you know. But again, it's also okay. about what I'm going to use it for because I do the family plan for Nintendo strictly because a little has has a thing. You know what I mean? She has an account or has her own uh, uh, Switch and stuff like that, and then it opens up a library of family friendly games as well to be played. Uh, which is always nice uh, to be able to utilize. Did you get the uh, plus uh, the plus account uh, the uh, the expansion pass? On yes. The Switch? Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Okay. Well, there you go. So we'll see. I mean, I guess it's good. I guess it's good news, but uh, we'll see. We'll definitely see. But uh, awesome, Smitty. Why don't you go next? Uh, oh, you bring it to the table. Oh, Sorry. Mm. like I said, I, didn't, I know mm. I didn't give the order. Unfortunately, he did not. He did not. And he did it with my mouth full of chips. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm, a professional, someone <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so hungry. I didn't get a nap in or a nap. I didn't get a nap in, but I also didn't get a, a snack in. I didn't get a snap in. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm sure you guys have heard and seen the news that E3 has officially been canceled for this year. There was supposed to be, we already knew that there wasn't going to be a physical uh, uh, for this, this year. However, uh, they had announced that there was going to be a digital version of it and it just, uh, I don't, I don't know. It just kind of, it did not happen at all. And they have just officially announced that they are canceling the digital as well. And, and I kind of feel like this might just be the end of E3. I mean, with Whoa, and we've seen. Down there, Turbo. I'm throwing it. I'm throwing it out there, man. I wow. I totally yeah, dude. Because like, look at let's look at him. 2020, they didn't hold anything. Obviously, that's when we went into the pandemic. Everybody was scrambling around. Last year, they did a digital version of it, and I at least I I felt like it was kind of lackluster. Um, we also had the start of Summerfest, and a lot more companies are seeing that they don't need these trade shows. The trade shows don't mean quite what they used to mean back in the day. And I feel like E3 has essentially outlived its usefulness within the industry, unfortunately. And I could totally see them just not coming back at all. Again, I could be wrong um, and they could come back with a physical, but clearly they said, look, dude, like digital wise, they were prep or they, they said they were going with it. And for them to go and, and be like, nah, we're going to pump the brakes and not do anything. I think this is a, uh, you know, I think they saw the writings on the wall as well. And I felt like them to try to compete against Summerfest at this point is, is basically futile. And eat the summer fest, man. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I mean, Greg, I mean, Greg, come on. Uh, no, like, well, first off, you're wrong. All right? People I aren't even, he that. says, he says you are just dead ass wrong because they've already <laughs> posted. I mean, it, I, you can say to their word because the ESA is still around. So, I mean, if that, uh, if this is the case, because this is the people who, who run E3 or makes, uh, makes E3, they said that they were canceling 2022. Uh, because they didn't feel like uh, having a digital a digital thing of this wouldn't make sense for a, a show that big, which makes sense. I mean, it really is. I mean, the uh, uh, itself because last year was they didn't want to be two years in a row that where they canceled where they just canceled and then leave not uh, leave everything like like that. You know, uh, the way the way that they were trying to trying they were still trying to reach out to people to have put ha like hands on some of their merchandise and stuff, which was a little weird. Because they also had like sets and stuff like that, close sets and stuff. I bet you they realized that's expensive, even regardless if it was online. But uh, but uh, ESA has already said that they will return in 2023. So I uh, now we could take it for a grain of salt on what that means, but I I seriously doubt that they are going to like let this one go. Even though yes, they were they have been slowly losing. Um, losing, I mean, they already lost Nintendo. They did lose, they technically lost Microsoft and Sony. 
um sony uh, just got, sound like they just got fed up and just you know? <laughs> yeah but <laughs> but uh but overall it's still good for uh for like the uh uh for other for, i mean for i guess for third party vendors it's not there's just not going to be the show as what uh, as big as the show as you as we once knew knew it once was you know so i mean i i won't i won't count them out and uh quite yet i mean I mean, but like, like you said, some like summer, like summer game fest and stuff. Unless they make a physical show, like that's the one thing I would really, uh, I would really hope so. Because that's that's the one thing I do. You love think they won't E3. have a physical show? I don't know, dude. Like, I mean, Keeley's only. I mean, the the thing with Jeff Keeley is that he, I mean, he does the video game awards. Uh, we have never seen him do the uh, uh, like show of uh, the the show for like events of the show itself, unless Keely decides to do like a physical event or uh, mm-hmm. in some for for Summer Game Fest, then uh, then maybe. But I but but the point of Summer Game Fest isn't uh, isn't the show. It's just showing like releases that are happening throughout the summer fully. So it's not all happening in one weekend or whatever. So like, mm-hmm. uh, so the way the, the format itself is completely different than what what E three is like. So, uh, I I just think that like like for me as press, especially as media, we love going to a place like uh, a, a place where we can actually get together and just physically look at the stuff or be able to put hands on on this kind of thing uh and uh and see oh the the best thing are the back uh the back room conferences and stuff like that i mean like there's no other show that does that besides maybe uh uh pax uh because i mean pax is a little bit but it's nowhere near as big as what what e3 was mm-hmm. so like that, that yeah yeah so like uh but i mean yeah I, I, that, that that's why i feel like it's still they there's still something e3 can provide i personally liked e3 uh i know that xbox nintendo and sony pulled out uh and they're doing their own shows um i see even when e3 was digital i felt like they gave us more than other companies did as far as like a closer look and understanding and explanations and talking to creators. Uh, and I think it's a great place, especially for indie indie developers, but I kind of want Smitty. I don't know if they're going to come back. Uh, it, it's questionable. And, and here's the thing, like someone had said that uh, they might do uh, unknown had said that they might do physical and digital next year which is a great idea if that is what they're planning on doing uh because a lot of people do like going to those conventions um oh sorry hold on one second <sighs> okay it passed um mm-hmm. it, it is fun to be able to tangibly touch something and look at something and demo a game and and talk to people and connect and i feel like since 2019 as far as meeting new people and connecting whether it be with other content creators or just the developers themselves even if it's just a fangirl situation like in dust's uh (laughs) experience I I loved it, and I didn't even get to go to the panels that I wanted to. Um, My body just gave out, and so I missed a lot of the con, but I really did enjoy it, and I thought it was a lot of fun, but I don't know. I think we might be moving into a new era because COVID is a thing, and it's not going away, Um, you know, and with a capacity like that, I don't know. Um, how convention centers are working with that. Do you know what I mean? Well, um, I'd be mean, I mean, like, I mean, well, if that was the case overall, like we wouldn't be like PAX like now is not going, <laughs> shouldn't, shouldn't be theoretically uh, happening because of this. They know, I mean, overall, well, despite the fact the problem, the problem with E3, well, the initial problem with E3, I think was that they, they did a weird pivot uh, with their identity of what E3 was, you know? Right. Uh, so, because the biggest issue, I, the, because the biggest issue I have, especially as media, uh, this is not saying this. Uh, it's not saying this be, uh, because of a statue, like you know, a level or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it rather, like when they opened it up for the public, 
it destroyed it. It destroyed its reputation, in my opinion, unfortunately, because my biggest my biggest problem was is that they charged like two hundred dollars for individuals to get uh, uh, to get there. Jesus. They treat these people like they treat these people into these weird lines. And then, like, I mean, in line to just to play a 10 or 15 minute demo, and then you only have time to be there for like maybe two or three of these lines before they close it for the day. And then, but at the same time, this is like maybe 25% of what most of these people are there for. Like, they're there to work most of the time, is there to work for, uh, for it. So, but like, I just think that overall, uh companies like like when sony and stuff like that did all the stupid things and uh uh when sony i think when Sony, i think sony got pissed when uh i think when spider-man came out the first spider-man uh they they did it i think that was their last e3 they they attended themselves like physically uh uh but like overall like the events it's uh itself is like it was meant specifically for the trade itself within uh within hand i mean there's other there's other company like like the bigger one, there's even bigger events. I would say that's uh, that, that's more important to E3 that I think that, that I think people need to kind of remember. Like I think the biggest one that people kind of forget about is GDC, which is the Gamers Developers Conference that happens in San Francisco. That's a week long. Uh, that one is insane. <laughs> like, but you get to talk to everybody in every facet in the industry itself. So I think that like uh, uh over like oh, yeah I think like over like this even though despite that the uh, despite the pandemic and stuff people still need a physical event and I think that that's one of the uh yeah and I think that's one of the things that that uh that E3 would uh could do uh or does a little bit uh a little bit maybe not well because I, I would totally agree on how how they did it uh, how they kind of treated it has gone to to crap but that's a whole different conversation in itself but uh yeah so here's why you're wrong um (laughs) look so summer fest started what 2020 right in the pandemic i think once things open back up i think it's going to evolve into something a lot more than what it is that was merely because of what was going on is the format that it has right now i don't think it's its final form and i think it evolves and it encompasses basically all the summer announcements and stuff like that get encompassed into game fest and they make it they continue to do it over the course of months but then you'll have things where you know what i mean it's it's hey this is more for the developers or this is just indies or whatever that'll kind of be underneath that game fest umbrella and that's why i think i think that at that point and i think a lot of companies are making that shift it's like what's the point of going to e3 why do i need to go to e3 when i can deliver this information just as easily either solo or within some other event that frankly is gaining more clout than than what e3 has been been doing if, yeah but if summer game fest can show like shows that's that's what they're plan that's what they're doing or that's what they're planning mm-hmm. on that's what they're leading up to because that's the thing i don't know if they are or if they aren't but they right? have to I mean, coincidentally you're right i mean it started during the pandemic but we don't I, but i don't know from what i've got uh, from what i have seen and from what it's been seen because like i've even gotten the first emails from summer game fest today and uh they're still doing they're still doing the same format so like uh there's uh yeah. right now there's straight up there's straight up rumors uh, uh of what they're wanting to do but uh but at the same yeah time, i don't think they're i'm not, I'm not sure. talking about i'm sorry i'm not talking about this year oh, i yeah. mean well, next I know, year I yeah know, yeah yeah i know but yeah yeah but i'm just saying that like it's like now if it now if it, it would be a different story because i mean something like like to do an event that's gonna that's gonna be competing directly for e3 mm-hmm. like it's going to be like something it's going to be something that's going to be not like a spur in the moment thing that's going to be like a big announcement mm-hmm. kind of thing to be like okay, oh yeah it's like at the video game awards or something that's what's going to happen and i feel like that's why i don't think that's where they're where they're at quite yet uh uh quite yet uh from it and keely has connections so i'm not going to be surprised that if he uh if, if it's going to happen uh, maybe sooner than later now when that happens that's also a different complete, complete different story then we could say is e3 dead but like right mm-hmm. now like right now, I don't know. Like I, I well, think that I think it would, uh, uh, it's hard to say. Coming from the disabled uh, gamer standpoint, <clears throat> I hate lines. I can't stand in lines. I just can't do it. So it was never for me. I looked into it prior for past E3s, and it. I was just 
it, it felt like going through hoops to call and ask if I was going to be kicked out if my service dog, uh, you know, joined me and if there were accessibilities and I just could never get a straight answer. Not to say that there wasn't because I never went. Um, but I, yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I'm kind of well, like the... Me- I don't care. With you, the, like with the line thing, I think, well, I think if anyone's going to be charging anybody $200 to just stay in line, they right. will F themselves. <laughs> For, to be honest with you. To be honest Thank with you. you. Well, That's that crazy. What it is. Yeah, I, I called. Insane. I was like, if I buy a ticket, because there were some, a few things that I was very interested in. I called. If I buy my $200 ticket, I have a service dog that is accompanying me. I just got transferred and transferred and transferred. And I always call ahead of time because I'm not going to show up to a con that I paid an arm and a leg that I couldn't really afford in the first place to then be told you need to leave. You know what I mean? Because that's happened to me so many times. And, you know, they're legally they're not allowed to do that, but they do. Uh, What am I going to do? Call the cops? I could. though, overall, like, I like, like, even if, like, I don't usually like going to well for me personally because I've, I've been going to events forever and uh like the only time i go to an event is if i know that there's something that i need to do or i have a task to do because right i don't usually go for fun uh but uh, uh overall though like uh like when you go to e3 and if you are part of the press like for me like i didn't even get to play i didn't go uh, didn't play one game there at all like Jesus. i was there I, I was there it was not because of the line so it's because like i am literally talking to developer heads back i am talking back. yeah i'm going to i'm going to small part the small parties and stuff to get together yeah. talking the there's so much stuff that's happening on the outside uh the back oh the back door meetings like i said the back door meetings like you for instance like uh i went to one uh i can say it now because it's, it's already out uh but uh uh when i went the last e3 was uh, e3 2019 that happened that was physical i went to that uh i had a backdoor meeting with techland and uh, i was talking to the developers who were at the time was working on dying light 2. dying mm. light 2 uh gave yeah dying light 2 uh that uh so i got to play an early copy of dying light 2 when it happened then at the same time they gave us these statues of dying light characters and then they gave us like the uh they gave us a uh, they gave us a a welcome kit with techland and uh, uh, to talk about what it what, what it was when Cyberpunk 2077 was there, they gave us these reversible windbreaker jackets of of uh, of a uh, dude. Davis always Davis always yeah. gets the coolest shit, dude. I'm just saying like, that's, the kind of, like, that's the kind of stuff that, that's that's the kind of stuff that like that, that that you're there for. Like you're talking to developers. That I mean the thing like I mean it's cool to be like oh cool I got to play at the time was Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Uh, on stage for 15 minutes i'm like oh, who who gives a crap a game comes out in six months you're right. talking you're talking to the people that that's like we want to know what your plans are ahead of yeah. this year and and beyond and then and right. then once you do, once you get into those meetings then you'll see how special e3 is yeah that's, that's what i'm saying because like i think that like the at the consumer level it is a waste of money and it's a waste right of time but right then like uh, but in the media level it's that's what makes it that that's what makes the magic happen Give me what, a media what, pass, what Davis. Is. well then i think <laughs> dude what well, i feel like i feel like that's the strat that they have to lean on then close it back up don't make it open to the to the public and focus on what they were doing well beforehand that kind of commentary that kind of mm-hmm. things that that stuck with you that is meaningful to you on a much deeper level than the consumer base of i got to stand in line and play a game for 15 minutes on a stage I would um to, i would love anything for them to do. i would love for them to do that but like to be honest with you like what's now they got that taste of money now that they, money they, they, they sold out <laughs> it's like oh my god like good luck uh good luck man so yep but, uh, yep yeah but, yeah i mean i'm glad to, for now to come to your what your topic was talking about i'm glad that they are shutting it down and i'm glad that they recognize that it is because like i bet you now they do have information of like how good did they do last year what they did an online right. show and, th- th- and then they're like you know what it's not worth it then then awesome uh, i mean that that- but what took them so long though is that's my biggest thing it's like i mean they because they already announced that they weren't doing a physical i mean at that point did you not have they should have already been able to go through the data and and see what you know what i mean what that looked like uh people visited vendors 
X amount of time versus versus in person. Look at those yeah. numbers and then be like, all right, probably not a good idea to hold a virtual. I'm just wondering what the why. You know, I mean, there's still time, but I mean, shit, dude, we're in April now. You know, why? Why now? Why not a couple months ago or or whenever the data came flowing through? It could be many facets because, like, maybe like it, it's not just that. Maybe let's say companies just weren't coming to bring announcements to E3. Right, you're saying that might be a problem. That could be a problem themselves, you know, because there's no justification. Like, why would they need E3 at that point if they're going to be doing online announcements of these games when they could just do it themselves? Like, because like you know what we were doing last year when we did the the Let's Watch of it, yeah, uh, and stuff is like. Some of it was really disappointing, like Warner Brothers Studios and all this stupid nonsense that we had to deal with. And we were there for like a good eight hours, you know, right? Uh, do, doing this kind of stuff. So maybe they were just like, I mean, that could be one thing. I mean, I really don't know. So, uh, uh, yeah. So who knows? I mean, it's really hard to say. We'll see. It is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lex. Yes, um. Why uh, don't you close this off? I will. Thank you. So I kind of, I like April Fool's. As I said, I prank my dad every year. Um, I haven't been Mm -hmm. able to the last couple two, couple two years. But um, uh, I like when game companies are in on the jokes and they're they're funny. Sometimes they say things that I actually physically want and it is not available. And then I'm sad. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) But uh, Kotaku came out with an article today about... April Fool's jokes and gaming for 2022, and I thought it would just give us a quick laugh. Um, of course, it's International Lying Day, if you didn't know. Um, so you're allowed to tell a lie, and it's funny. Like, I'm pregnant with twins. I'm not. Um, mm. Sonic Frontiers Collection Edition was announced today. Um, <laughs> the official J- Japanese account tweeted the details for the collector's edition. It includes a wooden bath bucket. A sonic printed towel, a waterproof, get this, Sega Genesis, a oh, non-waterproof God. game gear, and a rubber duck. Uh, I If it's real, it'll be 260. Who knows? We'll find out, a I'm sure, in a couple days. non-waterproof game gear? That's kind of funny that they have to point that out. I know. Like, <laughs> like, okay, but sure. I would buy the Sega Genesis if it'll let me play my old cartridges, because uh, I still have them. <laughs> Uh, also announced, and this might be true, Goat Simulator Musical. I'm sorry, Goat Simulator the Musical, directed by Steve-O, one of our favorites from Jackass. Uh, if you were like myself and watched Jackass series, uh, he has he has a throat disorder, and that's why his voice sounds like it does. I don't think a lot of people know that. Um, <laughs> but mm-hmm. Coffee's, <laughs> Coffee Stain somewhat proudly presents Goat Simulator, the musical motion picture, and under an utter spectacular in the making, directed by Steve-O himself. So uh, we'll see, I guess, in a couple days if that one was true as well. Genshin Impact announced a playable Abyss Lector. Uh, of course, mm. Among Us, you get to horse around. So your character is a horse. Uh, there's a horse mode. And uh, it features a nay kill sound, which I appreciate. Uh, Cookie Run Kingdom turns cookies into hotties and eldritch beings. Uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses tea set. Now, they are gorgeous, and I would love to get my hands on them. I don't play that game, but Mm. these look beautiful. I hope they're real, uh, Mm. because I will be buying one. Uh, and then, of course, a short hike 99, a multiplayer mold, mode. Uh, this was supposed to be some sort of April Fool's joke, but I don't want to confuse anyone, so I'm just going to drop some facts. Uh, it's a rough mod, and they're doing some funny things in that as well today. And my favorite, we'll end it here, Corsair K1 RGB. The world is at your fingertip with the most technologically advanced 1% mechanical keyboard ever built. And I would love if, if Smitty pressed play so you all could, <laughs> could see this. Uh, it, it's literally one button. You can interchange which ones. They like to choose the F button. Uh, there is hand support, uh, many plugins, and uh, it shakes. You're welcome. <laughs> it has like a, two different ports for the power and the one for the light. Yeah. That's I don't, hilarious. A I don't think anyone's going to be uh, playing Elden Ring with this one. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> you know what? I lied. Let's end it on this one. And then Twitch added a Mimi streaming category for today. Uh, and it is as follows. If it'll load for me. The new category is pizza time. What does it it's mean? Not. I don't know. Eat pizza, make pizza, deliver pizza, dress like a pizza, debate pizza protocol, throw a pizza under the roof. Hmm. It, it, the The world is your oyster, okay? Uh, and then the next <laughs> category is silent reading. Now, I assume people in your chat are supposed to read along with you? I don't know. Because uh, <laughs> obviously that is is content that is uh, copyrighted, so you kind of can't do that. Uh, and then character creation. Uh, creating a new character can take hours. Becoming them can take a lifetime. So we spent five minutes creating a character for it. Four out of six. And then, of course, this is my favorite. Chores, odd jobs, and errands. Uh, if the saying, many hands make light work, is true, you're about to sa you save so much time. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, they have a literally just chatting category uh which it's funny but you know if twitch had time to work on you that have, like all of the like you just know all of these like spots for these april fool like this is like only one day and you found like so many different companies with all these april fool of the full stuff it's there's impressive. more um, i know there's more you there's see a lot like, more yeah, uh, it's crazy <laughs> I don't know. I always got into April Fool's. It was me and my dad. Like, it started out with him when I was a kid. I would get in the shower in the morning, and he'd still be home, and he would take a bucket of ice water and dump it on my head. Uh, and it started, and it fully escalated to pee-pee on the floor. So, you're welcome, Dad. Jesus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, saran wrap someone's toilet today. It's delightfully to watch them to clean it up. Um... <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I dig it. I think it's funny. And, uh, you know, I think more video game companies should do it. Because why not? If anything, it's bringing more traffic to your game. You know what I mean? I, like the, I think the one out of all of them is the uh, Among Us. Like, if you're playing Among Us the today, horse. you're... You're, uh, a horse. you're you're a horse. <laughs> I think that's pretty Just funny. Horsing around. I thought it was cute. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's pretty cool. But, uh, wow, dude, it's like, you, you totally, totally beat well, me on that one. Again, it, <laughs> some of these could be true, like the tea set. It could be true. We don't know. Also, if the Sega Genesis thing is true, I'll, I'll buy it if it'll fit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Sega I love quite, Sega Genesis. I don't need it to necessarily be waterproof. I think it yeah. should be. I think it'd be pretty nice. To, That'd be to awesome. <laughs> they used Wait, April Fools to test out their craziest ideas to see how people would respond. I swear, dude. Yeah, it does said oh, that last year Path of Exile debuted a Battle Royale version of their game. Six months later, they had to actually make it because the fan base went nuts about it. <laughs> uh, that's funny. There's I a Path of Exile it. Battle Royale? What? Uh, not anymore, I don't think. Was that a seasonal thing or was that like a temporary thing? I would watch the pizza channel as well. Just uh, like see all the different like varieties see, of pizza. Did you see with uh, with, with Fortnite? Like uh, they have the no build thing anymore, and then yeah. it, was, it was so popular that now it's going to be a permanent. It's a permanent mode. I knew that it was going to happen, be. and it should have. It yeah. should have been there all along. Agreed. They would have kept me. Thing. I would have played me more. AJ, me and AJ play Fortnite together, and we win. I would say ninety percent of our games were number one. That's crazy. Maybe you guys should invite me sometime, assholes. But they, they, said 90, <laughs> they said their win percentage is ninety percent, Smitty. They, they don't have time. To, they don't have time to carry. <laughs> Come on, carry me. <laughs> is, you know what I think it is? Is AJ and I commute really well, and I'll be like, "Someone's under six, three sixty four, like on the top." And yeah. Like, pew, 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 you know, I need yeah. someone to call out the numbers for me, and she's really good about it. And so, so just let us see well. Line. But if you tell me Maybe where to shoot, we just walk in the line of sight and just. I just like to your left. I want your left. The numbers, uh. <laughs> so he's gonna be the best floor tank for you, guaranteed. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I don't have to worry about building. No problem, dude. I stay alive a lot more. It was the building that always got me in that game. Mm -hmm. It wasn't actual gunplay. It was a stupid building. That's what pissed me off and made me not want to play it. Because I was like, I can't compete with that. I'm not going to sit here and try to get good at building to try to compete with people. Not going to do nope. it. Nope. I, so. you I agree. Set your foot down. Good for you, dude. Right. That's you. right. 
<laughs> yep. Well, that was cool. Well, that's cool, dude. I mean, that's really that was cool fun. That There's a lot of fun ones in that. Yeah. Guys, thank you for listening to episode number 127 of the CFG Gamecast. Thank you once again for being a part of the conversation. As always, we will be back next week, every Friday. Uh, so, but uh, if you did miss out this episode, that is perfectly fine. We release it on all, all of the podcast services on Monday morning each and every week. So, there is not a reason to uh, to miss our sexy, sexy voices. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yes, thank you so much. And then also, you can go check out our main website, confreaksandgeeks.com, if you're wanting to see the history of all, like the history of all the other different kinds of episodes that we've done of the CFG Gamecast, uh, and then some. We do a lot of video game reviews and news interviews, and so and so much more there. So, once again, this is Davis, Lex, and Smitty signing off. Y'all, take it easy. Bye. <laughs>